Hello, my name is Philippe Moreau. Uh, I'm a professor of clinical hematology at the University Hospital of Nantes in France. And I'm often asked what is the role of the serum free light chain assay for the detection and monitoring of multiple myeloma. So this test, the free light chain assay, is measuring within the serum. It is a very sensitive and specific test measuring uh, the amount of a free light uh, chain, either kappa or lambda, that are secreted by the tumor cells within the serum. You know perfectly that uh, the uh, tumor cells are secreting an M spike, an M component, uh, that is uh, uh, an entire immunoglobulin with two heavy chains and two light chains, but the two light chains can be uh, secreted uh, uh, alone uh, and uh, they can be uh, measured by this free light chain assay. So this test is measuring the amount of kappa uh, light chain, of lambda light chain, and uh, we are also measuring the ratio kappa uh, versus lambda. And it is important uh, when the treatment is ongoing uh, to evaluate the response, and the free light chain can easily uh, measure the uh, reduction of uh, the uh, light chain secreted by the tumor cells. So in terms of uh, complete remission when uh, uh, the disease is uh, controlled and when the uh, electrophoresis is normal, we have also to evaluate the normalization of the free light chain. The uh, secretion of the kappa and the lambda light chains have to be normal and the ratio is also uh, 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 going back to the normal uh, range. So the free light chain is important to evaluate the quality of the response and the CR uh, if possible. In some cases we do have also some multiple myeloma that are excreting free light chain alone. Uh, we are calling uh, this uh, myeloma non-secreting or oligosecreting and this test is also very useful uh, because the uh, electrophoresis in that ca specific uh, cases are normal. So this test is becoming more and more used uh, to follow uh, the response of uh, these patients.